so you want to set up your long hose reg set. Uh, here I have my Deep Six Expedition gear second stage attached to my hose. And because I'm using a long hose, I need a bolt snap on there so I can clip it off. Well, got my bolt snap, got my cave line. How do I do that? Uh, I use the same way many people use. I've been watching uh, the Inner Space Explorers, the ISE video that a lot of people watched on how to tie that bolt snap. Works really well. About two and a half years ago, I decided to change up how I did that by using a proper prusik knot. So today, I'm going to show you how I do that. Stay tuned. All right, so here we have our second stage, the hose attached. We have our bolt snap and we have our cave line. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to make a loop, right? So just double it over. Make sure those ends are even. I'm going to take that loop. We're going to run it right here through the eye of our bolt snap. I'm going to take the open end, the working end. I'm going to pull that through. And now, this is what we have. But how do we attach it to the hose? So now what I want to do is, I want to pull a little bit of this out. This is a standard lark's head right here. This is just a lark's head, which is where most people start doing it, and then they run... So they run a lark's head like this, set this down, and they start passing this up through here, through here. Same thing here, this one on this side. And I've found this to be a pain in the butt. So we're gonna do it a different way. So what I want to do is I want to have all of this laying on the hose, just like this. I'm going to pull this loop out and this is going to go over top the hose, but now I'm going to run it under. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to make another, run it just like I did the other Lark's head. I'm going to pass this through, get the lines even. Pass this through the eye. And now I'm going to pass it through that loop again. This, when I do this, I want to make sure that these two lines that I just pulled are on the inside of the original. So here's the original right here. On this side is the original. I want to make sure when I pull that, that these stay on the inside. This, as you can see, I've already got four sections in the top here. This is an actual Prusik knot right now. And it's a nice, secure, tight knot. You're going to get this where you want it. So I would actually run this pretty, higher, pretty high up. But this isn't actually what I want to attach. I'm just doing this for the video, um, for the magic of YouTube. Magic. So now that I have it run through there twice and an actual Prusik knot, I'm just going to take this extra line here, my tag end or the working end, and I'm going to run it back around for both. So tuck them under the hose. Making sure to keep them in the middle of the actual line. So you got the two original lines. I want to make sure that they're the inside there. So everything's nice and neat. And now I bring one up on either side and I cross them. Now I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to pull this nice and tight. And I'm going to run it back around underneath the hose. Just kind of wrapping it around there. And now the right side over top to the left, snug that down. 
Put it the opposite way. And you can see I used a lot of cave line here. This is just for this example. And now that is locked off. You could, and some people like to double knot it, so you could run it back around this other side here and do another knot. I don't really find it necessary. And you can see that I have a nice clean line and this is super secure. This thing is not going anywhere and there's no need to keep threading it through there and trying to make sure that everything's lined up properly. This way it lines up perfectly, really easily. And it's a more secure knot than you're normally going to get. That holds nice and tight. And now what I would do is I'd cut this end off and burn them. And this is how you make a Prusik knot for your bolt snap.